Oke okay, Sobat Medcom, Medcom ID berkesempatan untuk berbincang-bincang dengan salah satu legenda Liverpool, Vladimir Smicar. How are you, Vladimir Smicar? Hi, thank you. I'm fine. Very good. Yes. Oke, okay. uh, it is interesting to discuss about Liverpool versus AC Milan in 14 years ago in Istanbul. Do you still remember the great comeback? Yeah, of course, I still remember because uh, it was uh, a fantastic game. It was a uh, really crazy game because uh, Of course, uh, we played the final and against AC Milan. They were really, they had a really great team, one of the best in their history. And uh, we were three 0 down at halftime. <laughs> so, so that's uh, that's why the game was so special because we still managed to come back and uh, at the end uh, we, we we win the game. But it was it was really spectacular game for the supporters. You are the one who scored. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how the process? Yes, uh, as I said, we were feeling down. Uh, Stevie Gerrard scored a header, and then uh, we continued to pushing uh, AC Milan to try to score another one. And uh, there was a action was thrown in uh, on the left side of the pitch. Uh, John Ayesha passed it to passed it to Didi Haman, and uh, I, I called Didi. Didi, I'm free. Give me the ball. So Didi gave me the ball, and uh, and then uh, I had no other solution because there was, was nobody other. To pass it on the right, so I just control it, and I, I said to myself, just try to hit it as, as much as as fast as much as I can, you can. And uh, I hit it well. Uh, did I think he saw the ball a little bit late, uh, so that's what the ball went in. Then uh, three two, yeah. uh, it was game on, and, uh, and uh, I celebrated the goal. And uh, nobody was like catching me because everyone else, the, the players, they were running to the halfway halfway line. And be, they were already ready for the next kickoff that they can attack them again. You know? But uh, yeah, it was of course for me it was a great moment because uh, the game, the Champions League final, uh, was my last game for Liverpool. I knew before the game that uh, I'd be leaving the club, uh, and uh, <laughs> so I, I it was, it was so special to scoring the goal. Yeah. At the time, Stephen Gerrard, uh, as a captain, seemed uh, too eager to encourage other. College, do you still remember what Gerard spoke? Uh, you know, we, we at halftime, especially at halftime, we were very disappointed. We were sad. We nobody speaks for nobody spoke for five minutes. Then the Rafa Benitez came, and he was trying to encourage us and uh, gave us uh, some motivation. He changed the team. He changed uh, one player. Stephen was out with the injury. Didi Haman uh, was on and. And uh, just before we left the, the dressing room, of course, DVG as a captain, again, he said, come on, boys, let's, let's do let's try something, you know, it's not over, we, we still have uh, 45 minutes, we still have uh, 40,000 our fans, uh, you know, support out there. And what it was incredible, it was when we went out of the dressing room, our fans, they were singing, you never walk alone. So it gave us some little bit of boost, the confidence that We still not uh, the game is still not over and uh, we probably have a still little chance. When on penalties, mm -hmm. um, is there a special message from the coach? No, you know on penalties, uh, I I wasn't sure if I be chosen by the coach, you know. If, um, but then then when, then Benitez, Benitez came to see and asked me if I want to shoot a penalty, and I said yes, I would like to shoot a penalty. It's my last game for Liverpool. You know, I'm offensive player. And I, I, I was 32 years old at that, that, that date, and uh, I said, "Come on, yeah, why not?" And uh, then, of course, you you decide yourself. Or, you know, you, you choose your favorite, probably place or site, and then the, if you want to try to, of course, score the goal. But, uh, penalties is always advantage for you, not for the keeper. But oh, don't be, don't get me wrong. These these days, the goalkeepers are very good. But of course, if you hit the penalty well. The chance for the goalkeeper is, is small. Okay, so Smisher, uh, who do you think is the best soccer player now? Now, oh well, for me it's Leo Messi. Leo Messi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me it's Leo Messi because I know he's over 30 now, but he's he's so special. For in my eyes, in my eyes, yeah, he's, he's number one. Uh, probably even in, in the history, in the history, because I know he never won the World Cup as a, as Diego for yeah. Argentina. But uh, the, the, the way he's playing, he's, uh, I adore him. I really like him. How about Cristiano Ronaldo? Yes, so far. 
Of course, Cristiano, uh, he, he won uh, as well, I think, four or five Ballon d'Or, which is incredible to beat five times Messi, you know. He scored goals uh, like a machine. <laughs> Every, anywhere he's been, he always scored goals. So, yeah, Premier League, and, uh, Spanish League, now he's in Italian League. And that's pro that proves he's one of the best in history as well, of course, of course. But they have to, I have to choose from one player, I go for Messi. Okay. Uh, who are the best starting eleven footballers of all time? All time? Wow! Starting eleven. Starting eleven. Okay, I start up front, and I start up front, and have to go for Pele and Messi. Pele and Messi. Uh, at the back, I know it's Beckenbauer. 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 Good players. Franco Baresi. I go Beckenbauer, Franco Baresi. In midfield, I go with Zidane, and I like my hero was Zico. 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 On the right winger, I put Kate Douglas. Liverpool, of course. On the left side, uh, uh, you know, Ryan Giggs was good. Ryan Giggs was good. I know it's it's a Manchester United player, <laughs> but he was he was good. And uh, on this, I I go for Cafu on the right, right. On the left, Paolo Maldini. Paolo Maldini. Yeah, and uh, that's it. That's the team. So uh, in the goal, I didn't say goalkeeper. Best goalkeeper ever. You know what? I go for Peter Che. Peter Che. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best partner and difficult opponent to do it? Yeah, my my best friend or best partner I play with it was Patrick Berger, my 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 checkmate. You know, of course I, I love to play with uh, Robbie uh, Robbie Fowler, Michael Owen. These two players they were special up front because it was easy sometimes to pass them ball and they did it. They they took the ball, they dribbled, scored. You know, it was easy. And, uh, but uh, yes, uh, my f favorite partner was uh, Patrick because we play each other easily. We even we didn't need to watch each other. We knew uh, I knew where is he, we, he knew where I am, so it was good. And the toughest opponent, I think, Marcel Desai. Marcel Desai, Desai from he was very tough. He was very tough, uh, strong, you know, aggressive. I didn't didn't like it play against him. Okay, so uh, how about the change of Liverpool, of Liverpool for the Champions League? We had a little bit tough uh, run in the in the group group stage. You know, we, we qualified in the last game against Napa, but now we play by Munich, and uh, we show last year that we we are very good in, in these uh, playoff games. So I think by Munich lately. They not even, they not leading the German leagues, so they have little little problems. But Germans they be always ready, you know. They will always prepare well for the, for for the Champions League games. So I can see our chances like 50-50 chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really because uh, we can underestimate by Munich. That's uh, that's definitely not. Uh, and uh, plus we have to see that uh, now in this. Period, we will play some important games in the Premier League, in the Champions League. So it's going to be a tough uh, period now for, for Liverpool. And how about uh, in the Premier League? Opportunities well, for Liverpool. I'm I'm very happy the way we are playing this year because we lost only one game, and uh, we scoring the goals. Uh, sometimes, of course, the fans are thinking that uh, we will score every game three, four goals, but it's you know, it's, it's not possible. And uh, sometimes the opponents are really well prepared against you, they, 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 they really mark well your key players and so that sometimes we, of course, we don't win all the games, but generally, uh, if I watch our season, uh, make me feeling that we really could have a good chance to, to win the Premier League this season, because uh, <coughs> so far I think we deserve the, that we are needing and uh, I just think because that uh, the players will they be playing still, still well, but it, because the pressure will be bigger and bigger till the end, you know. <coughs> the, the players know they can win the title. We, I think we've got everything what we need. Uh, we got a good manager, good squad. Uh, you know, uh, Salah again is leading the, he's the top goal scorer in the in the Premier League. So we got everything. Just of course you need a little bit of luck as well. You know, injuries, you know, can can play the part because as I said, now we will play a lot of games. And uh, of course, you can have some bad injuries, and you can lose some players. Uh, it can damage your targets. So, what's different uh, Liverpool squad now and your squad? Oh, it's tough to compare these, uh, uh, you know, these 
the team from 2018 and 2005 because uh, the football is changing, you know, football is developing and uh, the players, uh, I think even these days the players are fitter than we were because they have better like conditions, you know, more physio, everything, you know, they, they really, they really, uh, the football is faster and faster, I, I couldn't believe it, uh, but it is. I think offensively they, they're stronger, yeah, because uh, they score more goals than, than we did, so I think they are more clever up front than, than we were. And uh, football is about the trophies, uh, and uh, we want some trophies. So I just, I just hope they can follow us and uh, they're going to win uh, uh, something special to, uh, this year. Thank you, Smith, sir, Thank you for you your time. Thank you. And we can tadi bincang-bincang Medcom ID bersama legenda, salah satu legenda Liverpool, Vladimir Smitscher. Dan saksikan tayangan video ini di Medcom.id, serta saksikan terus berita maupun program-program bola internasional di Medcom.id.